Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this Muppet Christmas start, come back every day. So we just decided to go with it and do a full on Christmas in July movie marathon today. Um, we had Home Alone on just now, just finished it up, and now I'm gonna put on The Grinch. Um, Josh just picked up the bed frame, so that is out of here. Um, what else? Today the vlog is almost done exporting. Peter's gonna get his hair cut. Um, so yeah, all around good productive day with Christmas movies to make it even better. So I went on Netflix and went to watch it again because I knew it would be there. It's not only there, but it's the first movie. <laughs> then Chits Creek, then Shift's Table. Then Gilmore Girls, we haven't watched that in a while. And then good old Princess and the Frog. Just got a push notification that the annual pass holder terms and conditions changed. Disney has listened and now you can get three um, park reservations in addition to if you're staying at a resort and you have um, reservations through that. So that went from or to and and that is a wonderful Thing. Is Peter okay? So I am making jalapeno grilled cheese sandwiches for dinner. The key to a delicious grilled cheese is butter every side of the bread. It makes me so happy that you guys are interested in hearing more just about groceries and meal planning and whatnot um, from our channel. But we have not gone like on a real grocery shopping trip since that last one, and so I promise that is coming soon. Um, so tonight, I'm just making dinner with what we have in the house. I'm making some french fries. I made a tomato salad and the grilled cheeses. Here's the salad. Topped the french fries. I actually cut them like french fries with some nutritional yeast. And this is how the grilled cheese looks. They're delicious, if I do say so myself. All right, do you guys ever see my crazy collar cup here I have right in the front and center? That's why I comb my hair this way when I gel it. Um, I'm here at Floyd's, Floyd's 99, Winter Park, right across from the Irish Pub, right by Ravenous Pig. Where are we at? It's like Orange or Orlando, or Orange, Orange turns in Fairbanks. It's in Winter Park, but I have an appointment in seven minutes. I'm gonna go get checked in. I think I have to come hang out back in the car, but I at least have to go get checked in. Got my mask and I'm like pumped to get my hair cut. So let's do it. One hour later. Oh, look at that. Much better. Feeling like a human again. Um, I didn't ask her to gel it. I'm actually just gonna, I'm just gonna gel it when I get home. If we end up going out, if not, I'll, I'll just chill with it like that. But <sighs> look at that. Does that feel fresh? I rinsed my head cause I still have little hairs everywhere and I gelled it. So does it look better now? Good. We got two, not ones, but toons packages today. Ooh! You wanna see? Bum, ba bum, 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 bum. We purposely chose gray because we were just feeling angsty with our lives. I still had one. Yeah, we never had them. And then I wanted a refreshed red because remember that was OG year one of living here, and so I got purple. So these are for our one night Grand Floridian, three nights Bay Lake, in just Ooh. two weeks. Less two, than. Two, less than two weeks. We checked in on a Wednesday. Um, Ooh, yeah, we're there from the 22nd to Fix it, Felix. We actually just booked a dining reservation for our five year wedding anniversary. Oh. the California Grill, which we've never had like the dinner plant based Vegan. option, which I've heard is really good. Like they have a whole, hopefully they're still doing it. Maybe we'll see if anybody else goes before. But anyways, that's exciting. Five years. Five years married, that's pretty sweet. We made it. It's so nice and cool in here. It's supposed to be outside. It's like 96 outside. Should I get this hat? Should we get this hat? Because we could share it. It's so cute. It's just classic. Plain Jane, good old fashioned Mickey hat. 
They still have Mickey and Minnie. You know it's it's a Florida summer when you stop and stand in all the AC spots at World of Disney. Are we getting the Mickey Minnie? We are. Ah Woo! Buyer's remorse before we even bought it. For real. That's there though. I'm all for it. We haven't done this in forever. You don't have the soap bars out. What are you going to do? What kind is that? I think it's cotton candy. Ooh. There's very limited right now. Yeah, I'm going to go and do this one. Maybe. My apologies to Basin. It was not cotton candy. I think I just made it up. It was, <laughs> it was sugar, <laughs> sugar shay. Yeah, mine was almond and it smells like dessert. Should we go to your deli square? No, we're going to get it in the yeah. <laughs> Your deli store isn't open, just the, well, the ice cream is. soda fountain. No, they don't have a, I don't think they have a date yet on when the regular boats are gonna go. But seeing Amphicars out there and seeing the sunset over at Saratoga Springs. Oh! And the Kingdom boats are opening when the park opens. We're going on them. But the friendship boats and these boats have no date yet. Where are we going now? Well, hopefully. Yeah. We're gonna see what kind of stock we got. gotta go and get in line. Yeah, we got Aaron McKenna. Sarah got a blueberry donut. Ooh! I just have a taste for blueberry. A mint cupcake top sandwich or something? It's like two tops of a cupcake in with the sandwich. Frosting mint. with mint in it. Delectable! Delicious. for so long. We've been here almost an hour and I actually fell asleep for about 10 to 15 minutes. Like Peter's gonna run tonight so we're gonna head home and I'm gonna go to bed early I think because we have an early day. Before we go. Yeah so it was such a nice sunset though by the river. Is this a river? No this is a lake. Lake Buena Vista. Yeah we were told that it was that that is like this is like one of us. Yeah, what it is officially. Good night. Night night. We're home. What are you watching on YouTube over there? Ryan Sirhand. Doing a property tour that's showing his IVF baby at the end. Oh gosh. You're going on a run? Yeah. What's this little girl doing? Being naughty. I just set out my outfit for tomorrow and um, I'm gonna edit this vlog now so I have to not do a ton of work tomorrow. My shoes stink. My running shoes. Yeah, so I'm gonna go on a run now and then we're gonna go to bed because I actually have to do a couple hours of work before mm -hmm. we leave tomorrow to go to Magic Kingdom. Yeah, he gets to work a half day. It will probably be end up being more than a half day because if yeah. I get up and start working at like 6.30 and if we don't stop until 11 or 12. Eve is like so cozy under my legs right now. Um, so yeah, so that is our fun little start to the weekend which is going to end up being like worky and productive. So it's kind of like a mini weekend before the worky it's, it's, weekend. We're, we're putting as much fun magic into one afternoon at Magic Kingdom which I feel like will be pretty darn easy. Oh gosh. Should we bring her rope over? Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, have fun on your run. Thanks. Hello. <laughs> you wanna play? Sure. This is what I just walked out of the bathroom to. Sweet puppy girl. So I realized I don't even know how many miles Peter is running. Um so I just finished up editing what I could of the vlog. I'm going to do the daily message and then I'm gonna lay down. Um, I got some like belly butter cream that I'm gonna try putting on my stomach um, just to start getting in routine of um, just taking care of it as it stretches and grows and just lay down, probably not fall asleep, um, but just in case I do before Peter is home, it is good to be home. Today is Thursday the 9th. If 
you are waiting for a sign, this is it. Anonymous. Alright, there we have it. Six miles, hour and one minute. 1017 average. Not the fastest run, but I've been working on something. So yes, there is like the David Goggins, like no excuse, stay hard, keep going. But I, we're also in a global pandemic and I haven't been running as much and we've been dealing a lot with lots of work work and getting stuff ready for James. And I'm not, I'm actually not ashamed or anything or not upset about how I haven't been running as much as I should. I haven't been listening to my Chicago Marathon training plan as much as I should. But guess what? I'm still getting out. I'm still getting it done. I'm still doing my best to get out there and run but sometimes things are just more important and sometimes life just happens and you're looking at a man who is preparing for his first child who is in an insane period of life at work and an insane period of life for everybody in the world um, so but I just have to keep I do have to keep reminding myself because I do get hard on myself and so I'm reminding letting everybody out there who's watching who may get hard who may be a little too hard on themselves when it comes to work or relationship or working out or training or just trying to get through the day um, to not be so hard on yourself. Sarah came in um, when I was getting ready for bed and let me let me know that they dropped the food and wine, flower and wine, garden and festival of music and fun and fall, whatever this quarter of this period, this like third of the year is going to be called at Epcot. They released the menus of the booths and we are so happy to announce. With Sarah, I didn't get through all of them, but she saw that there is a plant-based mac and cheese with sausage and a plant-based meatball that's at Flower and Garden along with the chocolate little, little fake plant thing is going to be back at Earth Eats. So happy that that survived because we only got that once, I think, and we planned on getting because there weren't that many options, plant based options, as we thought at Flower and Garden. But we were planning on getting that item like at least 10 times during Flower and Garden. So I'm happy to say that I'm going to get at least 30 times between now and the end of the year because I think that's how long this festival is lasting. Anyway, I digress. I need to get to bed because busy morning with work, busy day with Magic Kingdom. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm so excited. Sarah had Christmas music playing on the Alexa when we when she went to bed. Um, I do have to put in a lot of work in the morning, but I'm going to have a Disney morning. I'm going to use H2O bath products when I get up and take a shower and get ready for the day. I'm Yes, I usually shower after my runs and regardless in the, in the morning no matter what. So if I end up running at night, I do shower at night and then I shower again in the morning because I am a weirdo. Um... I'm also going to make some Joffrey's coffee. May only have decaf, but maybe I'll mix some other caffeinated <laughs> grounds in there. But that's all I have right now. I'm kind of running low on coffee bean supply, but I've got a pack of decaffeinated Joffrey. So to round out the day, we'll probably put on Stacy in the morning with Joffrey's coffee and H2O products. And it's going to be, it's going to be a Disney day with the Brookharts. And I cannot wait. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.